Hi everyone, welcome back to my Beach Angel Tarot Shop. I'm here this evening to do my Goddess Yomiyai Womb of Creation for the month of May 2020. I hope everyone is doing well, regardless of what's going on in our world. I'm not going to get way into that uh, energy. We are all aware <laughs> where what's happening right now. Um, so yeah, let's focus on the messages that come through for everyone. I, like I said, I hope everyone is doing well. And yeah, this reading brings you light and clarity for your month of May 2020. So that being said, let's we're going to be using the same decks as last year, last year, last month. I don't know why I said last year. Um, actually, this is the card that popped out last month. So I'm going to keep it off to the side. It's elusive. The key word for this one was freedom. Our freedoms are kind of elusive right now, but they are still around us. We are truly free. I mean, really, we are not victims to any circumstances, even though our 3D reality is playing out. It's very restrictive in some, some areas, even more so than others. Um, our true freedoms are there. There is, like I said, a little bit of elusive, elusive, elusive energy around that. But I do want to kind of read... Okay, the bottom that on the bottom of that was released. So there may be a release of our freedoms in the month of May. And we have playful and a rejoicing playful energy. But I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to I kind of just tied in with the feeling I got because this tie this came from last month. I'm gonna pull another one actually, but I just like when I read this last month and I looked at that, I thought it doesn't feel bad because elusive can be like a seven of swords kind of feeling where or something kind of evade you, but our freedoms are kind of evading us right now. But it didn't feel bad to me. Um, so it says elusive weaves through the. Uh, through the kelp and crevices, seemingly unseen. She appears when you, yourself, are fleeing or breaking free from something. Is it responsibility or an escape from something restricting? So we, again, we are we are escaping from something that is restricting us in our 3D reality right now. Take this time and use it to better your situation. So the time that you are in right now, that you are restricted, you know, I'm put air quotes there, that we're, we're restricted by outside world circumstances, She's saying, take that time to better your situation. So that being said, you know, don't let this time go by and see it be wasted on focusing or on negative things, focusing on, uh, you know, negative news. And I know it's hard to not get caught up in the news and the drama and all that kind of stuff, but try not to, you know, make it the focus of your day. Try to use your day constructively. Use this time constructively to better your situation, to stay focused on what it is that you want. Because I feel like there's going to be a release. And of course, we are in that phases of, you know, right now working through that and getting more of our freedoms back. But um, it is definitely like confirming that. And there's going to be more playful energy. That playful card reminded me of like the Three of Cups where things kind of come together, uh, you can come together more with other people. But it's just a tie through of last month of a message to not use this time and don't let this time go by in vain. You know, like really use it to your advantage. Keep focused on what it was that you were working on or what you wanted for yourself, where you see yourself going. Uh, before this all started, don't lose sight of where you're headed. You know, really work on that. You know, really... Um, Apply steps, you know, if you can, if you're able to apply steps, work on it. If you're not able to do anything constructively, energetically, visualize it, you know, manifest, meditate, that type of thing. Really just focus on what it is, you, where you want to go, where you wanted to go before this all began, right? So let's pull another one. She's just a reiteration and a continuation is the word. <laughs> the, is the continuation of this elusive freedoms that are kind of, you know, kind of playing hide and seek with us right now. Um, but there is a reason for it. And she's asking that we are constructive in what we're doing. So let me just pull another one. Let me see if one more comes out. Let's see what she has to say. But it's a, it's a continuation a bit of April to some degree. But I feel like there's going to be some lifting of restrictions. And again, it will, of course, be from where you're at in your area. But or what area you're in. No, they're saying no on that one. They might not have another one. That might be the... Yep, yeah, they're telling me to move on. It's not, it's not going to um, change. <laughs> that, I mean, not that things aren't going to change. Of course, things, we're always in the process of change. The message is not going to change. It's a continuation of that feeling I had of our freedoms. The same message I had at the beginning of April 
Um, and to remember to stay focused on what it is that we wanted to do. Don't let this time go by in vain and to use it to your advantage. So wonderful. <laughs> Just like, yes, break free because it was talking about, are you breaking free of a restriction? Yes, we are in the process of breaking free of this restriction energy. Um, and getting freedoms back. So it's like, yes, your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly and break free. Try different ventures and experiences as a way to grow and learn. So yeah, it's just a verification there that we are just continuing on. So I'm gonna focus on our May using the same deck. Guardian Angels, Archangel Michael, and by Chambayai. What we're doing. I love her hair. I'm really drawn to her purple hair. I need to get my, oh my gosh, my hair. I haven't had my hair done. It's a terrible thing to say for so long because I didn't do it before this happened and then because I came here and I wasn't sure who to get to do my hair and then um, this happened and my hair is <laughs> like, oh my God, it's like so crazy. Okay. Focusing on our May and on our hair. So, May 2020. I just go on so I hear the. Okay. <laughs> it told me to look on the bottom. Okay, break free. So we are breaking free. I'm just going to go back and. Look at this, because I know it's said about you know, elusive. Are you breaking free of something? She appears on yourself. You are fleeing or breaking free of something. Is it responsibility or an escape from something restricting? So an escape. Escape. So for a lot of us, the feeling of escaping from something restricting, which is, you know, this lockdown type of energy. And our freedoms seem kind of elusive. You know, it's like a hide and seek with it. So that same type of energy is going to still be present in May, but the most important thing is that we will break out of that, we will break free of that, but to not allow that to stop you from manifesting what it is that you wanted before this all began. Okay, so that being said, it's all repeating itself. Over, the overruling energy for May is music for manifesting, which is amazing because I've really been listening to a lot more music lately. Um, to manifest rapidly, think of your desire while chant while you chant, hum, sing, or play music. So I love to put, you know, it's hard. This is a very quiet location. I put my headphones on and I put the music on really loud and I really just tune into the rhythm. Um, and it's more so, it's not even so much the words, but just the rhythm and where the rhythm takes you and your emotions, right? So there's an energy here for really using music um, to kind of change your mood, to... Uh, um, I don't want to say hype your vibration, but raise your vibration, but I didn't want to use the word raise either. Hype, hype is the one of the words that wanted to come up. I'm just going to peek, see if anything else pops up. Sometimes when I read things, they kind of make it more interesting. This, um, sing or play. Sing or play. It says music, but I'm also getting play. Because play came out when this came out. Did it, it did it not. Playfulness came out. So there's going to be a rhythmic playfulness. A rhythm, rhythmic playfulness to our May. Um, energetically, let me just see. Music is probably on there. It, music manifests your powers. M music boosts your manifestation powers. Music is part of the invisible realm, but you know, it is an invisible realm, but you can hear it and you can feel it. You can not only just hear music, but you feel music. So like if you're alone and you, or you've got your headphones on, um, I love to do it alone because you know, you, you, it's just a whole different thing. It's like a place to kind of zone out into, right? Energetically and emotionally. So you're going to get into some sort of rhythm, but I also feel that's going to take us into a, a rhythmic playfulness in our May. Like not just with music, but in general. And our manifestation abilities are going to be boosted. 
It wraps us in a protective shield to guard us from negative energies. It also lifts our emotions and thoughts to joyful levels. That's what it said. It's going to raise our vibration as well. So listening to music as much as you can, but I also feel um, we, are, we ourselves are going to get into a rhythmic, um, playful energy. So it's first sit quietly and think of your desire. Imagine that your dream has already come true and fill that reality in your stomach as warmth, peace, excitement, and security. Feel gratitude in your heart as you enjoy these feelings and begin to chant hum or sing. The self-made music sends your manifestation into the ethers where it congrongulates into tangible reality. Congrongulates, I can't say that word right, but it, it, it comes into a tangible reality. So it's just like this accumulation type of energy or raising of vibration you can get more in alignment to it with music music is important this month but I also just feel like as a collective energy we are gonna kind of come together in a rhythmic flow if that makes sense a more playful rhythmic flow which doesn't seem like it with what's going on but this is the energy you're gonna be experiencing more so and just more fun and more play. So she wants us to spend more energy on this. So what does she want us to spend more energy on in the month of May? And it's friendships. And that's beautiful. Because it was that playful three of cups type of energy that came out. When this came out, I had three cards together. So it says make a date for a play day with one or more friends. So she wants us to spend more time with our friendships. It's very easy, simplistic. We don't have to go into a lot of it. Um, I do see... I see people here in the background by the tree and strong to the tree. Um, and so I can't see very well. I don't know if that's a dog or, but I know I see a person here and he looks like he's got, I'm gonna have to get my magnifiers out later and look at this because I can't see very well even with my reader. But I got to I see a person, it looks like they're carrying something they're back here by the tree. And so they're engaged here with each other. There's two people with each other, but there's somebody down underneath the depths here where you can't like see them under the water. So there's people around, even with the friendships you have, there's more people coming. Okay, you can see that you're you're calling in soul group, and that's part of this perhaps this rhythm rhythmic, playful energy where we come kind of come together in more of a flow. You're gonna be starting to connect with more and it could be people that you've already talked to, but you become closer to them even. Um, but there is people around you that you may not actually be aware of. These two are down here and he's over here by this tree. So I'm getting a sense of above and below too, like up and down, like maybe different levels of energy people that you're drawing in. Um, not that we're judging that, but there's just different, um, there's some sort of difference here with the up and the down. I'm not sure exactly why that's, I'm feeling that. But regardless, she wants us to spend more time on those friendships that we are aware of and be open to connecting with people that we have either just surface relationships with don't diving deeper is the word diving deeper because you can see she's kind of down here dive deeper um with people that you may have just met or that you talked to before but never really got to spend time with there is a deep dive within friendships um and spending more time with them in the month of may love it so kind of like a three of cups again type of feeling which we saw back here love life energy and so I will say this this can be romantical but for me this is a love of life because that's just where I'm at in my life right now just a really loving life um so for me but they usually tie in together so we can relate them to both in energies um and when you're loving your life romantical life just kind of goes you know right into that so um love life energy for the month of May and it's waves of prosperity new abundance and exciting opportunities wash over you now so this is you know in regards to love there's new opportunities in love washing over you now. There's a, an abundance of love, you know, romantical or otherwise, washing over you now. Waves of prosperity. This is, you know, very good energy for love and for the love of life. So if this is for your love of life, then there's all kind of opportunities coming to you. Um, it could be financial or otherwise. It could be in regards to relationships. You could be feeling very abundant in friendships and connections and soul connections. I mean, these can even be people that you meet on the internet and you just have an energetic vibe. You find you'll be connecting energetically with people. You wonder, 
what is this feeling? Why am I feeling this? Even though, you know, maybe you have, you're at a distance, but you still feel that pull. You still feel that draw. It's very, very strong. Just go with it. It's just all this good energy coming towards you and allow yourself to be connected with it. Um, ways of prosperity. Let me just take a peek. But this is good for romance. A lot of romance coming. Um, a lot of... Um, good things coming for love of life as well new waves of abundance are sweeping over you right now observe any ideas that enter your mind at this time as they may be seeds of profitable new venture also notice out of the blue phone calls or chance meetings with people who could help you so there could be chance meetings um, and that could be helping you with romantic connection even if it's not that person, they're, they could be friends with somebody. Say, hey, I know somebody that you really go well with. Let's, you know, again, let me hook you up. Or let's go on a group connection so you can meet somebody like that. Um, this card also means that you're on a successful streak. It is excellent time to begin a new venture. Of course, follow your inner guidance and um, appropriate re do appropriate research. You'll see that the doors open easily for you and that you're filled with extra confidence and enthusiasm. Practice being a grateful recipient of good be a recipient of good so this is all good coming to you so be open to it um know that there's an ocean i love it of abundance with no danger that it will dry up so love of life there is an ocean of abundance allow yourself to receive and a lot of good romance type of energy coming to you as well but be open to receiving it so what is our financial energy? And that would have been a great one for finances. And it's dream big. Honestly, I think this one came up to the same place last month, if I'm not mistaken. Let go of small thoughts about yourself. See yourself succeeding. So big things. You know, the more you let go of the mediocre, um, the, the again, it's like allowing yourself to receive things. So it's the big dream. You know, keep dreaming. And this is where last month I realized, I think, that all the the all the cards up to that point their their eyes were closed oh yeah this is okay we're gonna see where we're going this has something to do with seeing too last month was about seeing things and our our third eye being opened and this was this card came in this placement i think to remind me of that because her eyes are closed she's asleep to something here not not you're not yet awake to something in regards to your finances um, which means you're not kind of seeing it yet, but you will be. And this is still April. So we are doing this. This is the end of April. So this is on the cusp of May. There is a bit of this energy still lingering in May. Like I said here, this is kind of feeling like these kind of go together. But letting go of small. So you want something more. And that's okay to want more. It's not selfish. It's not greedy. Um, you know, it's all about that self-worth type of energy. So... I still see this is very good energy, but there is still some slumbering energy around it. You're not quite awake to it yet. See yourself succeeding, but her eyes are closed. So you will see yourself succeeding. There's something yet about this you're not seeing totally yet. You're not experiencing it in their conscious state. So what she wants us to help, what she wants to help us cleanse in the month of May, and it is helpful person. Again, like the Three of Cups type of thing. She wants to help us cleanse. Someone wants to help you think of whom it might be and initiate contact. And I think this said be open to... Someone of these said be open to allowing people to help you. Um. So, she wants to help you cleanse a helpful energy. Kind of seeing there's a feeling that's kind of coming here. Oh, not... Trust, not knowing. Okay, I get it. I'm feeling it here. Um, like people, a sense of uh, distrust. Because I felt like, can I, you know, like they're all hugging each other. And I feel like there's been some people, you know, that are listening to this reading that have had encounters with people that are fake or false. And didn't have your true intentions, may have said they were there for you and really weren't. There is an energy here of helping you cleanse that. That there are helpful people. There's new friendships coming in. You're vibing at a different energetic level. You're on the same harmonic. Uh, what was it? I want to say Harm harmonious vibe now, and it's different. So these people that are coming, the friendships are helpful people. They're not superficial, is the word she wants me to use. They're not shallow. <laughs> They're deep. 
you know, dive deep. Because back here we were saying, take a deep dive. We're going to dive deep and there's going to be more depth to people. There's going to be more substance to people. There's going to be more solidity to people in our lives um, coming in the month of May. So there's people that she sends in. You can trust them. She wants to help you. I don't need to read it out of the book when you go. Um, she needs to help you. She's going to help you cleanse that feeling of ickiness that you've encountered with others at times. I mean, this isn't a judgment. It's just a learning process. And now you're going to be able to sense this. This is true. This is a true person. This person truly has my best interest at heart. Even though if you maybe just met them, it's going to be um, soul family and their sense. So it's going to get rid of, it's going to cleanse that, that icky feeling. I call it icky feeling of people not really being substanced or true with you. Okay. And so you don't feel, you don't have to feel that mistrust or you don't have to feel that questioning with them and their motives towards you, which is awesome. Okay. So the seed of energy to plant, a good seed of energy for us to plant, that will be advantageous to us to plant on the full moon, on the new moon of May 22nd, or it may also be something that you're doing. This is kind of funny too. Um, this is, this one came up last month and it is important to me specifically, um, a new dawn. The worst is now behind you and a positive new experience is on the horizon. So seeing yourself in a new way, you know, new, I want to say new persona, even, um, taking on a new energy, knowing that the worst is behind you. So the seed to plant is a new you, a new energy, new persona. Um, and not in a fake way. This is in a very authentic way. This is a new, you know, like a new rebirth. Um, and positive new experiences are on the horizon. So it's knowing, the seed to plant is knowing that the worst is behind us, even though we are still working through it here a bit, and that positive new experiences are on the horizon and a new energy. I'm going to take a little peek here. Uh, for me, this holds, like I said, a very personal message. Uh, this has a new, this has a new, and it, no, it has like a nine of pentacles energy, like a very um, self-sufficient, um, not that we don't, we won't be connecting with others, but a very, not independent in a bad way, but in a good way. You endure storms over rough, you have endured storms over rough seas, but now the way is clear and smooth. From here on in, you can expect the best. Wash away any negativity from your consciousness and past memories and keep only the positive lessons in love. Don't hang on to anything that could weigh you down, such as resentments or bitterness. Let it go. If you've gone through patterns of negativity in the past, it's time to affirm. I now release the need to experience this lesson, this life lesson. I extract whatever teachings I need to discover and more. And I move on to a, a life of harmonious and peaceful actions. By pulling this card, you've turned a corner in your life, wherein your prayers and positive thoughts are del delivering new rays of divine light to illuminate your present and your future. So that's the seed to plant. Um, knowing that you've turned a corner in your life, there's new energy on the horizon, and you've like come across, I know in tarot readings, we always hear endings and beginnings, but you have very much traversed and you are coming now into a whole new phase in your life where that past is no longer defining. There's the answer. Your past is no longer defining who you are now. So if you were uh, seen as the shy person, the wallflower, you're not that anymore, right? So you don't have to take on that role. You have a whole new persona. That's not no longer me, right? Um, and that change of energy and that realization of it and owning it is just what she's saying is what's bringing you into this new energy and, and new people are coming in that are more in alignment with that new you, okay? Because, you know, when you're unsure of yourself and who you are, you're you're pulling in those types of people as well. So, again, it wasn't a judgment about those people in the past. It was just an alignment with who you identify with yourself, within yourself. So, um it was just, like I said, an energetic alignment. And now you're seeing yourself different. You know yourself different and you're pulling in different energy. So that's the seed to plant is really affirming that. What comes, and you're going to find something new about yourself. You're going to realize something new about yourself right around that time frame too. There's going to be some revelation that you can really look at and say, this is a defining moment in my life I'm hearing for a lot that are watching this and have watched it to this point. <laughs> okay, so... Um, what comes, okay, number seven is what comes to a good completion by the full moon on June, which we're going to go, this full moon will come to June 5th. So what comes to a good completion? And it is that, yes, I think we saw this when I was shuffling, 
Yes, there's a breakthrough. It came up with the breakthrough. Your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. So I think by June 5th or 6th, a lot of us will have broken through the res a lot of the restrictions that we're dealing with in our physical life. Um, they're going to be a, a, you know, a lightening of those physical 3D restrictions by that point, June 6th, 5th or 6th. As something that maybe you've been asking about, you want to do, yes, it's an affirmative, go ahead and do it. But your intuition is correct. Your intuition is Correct, yes, but there's a positivity here. Yes is positive, no's are negative, right? So I just got that feeling like a battery, like a chart, like a negative and a positive feeling come up too. So I feel like I want to go to the right. Um, completion by the full moon is that positive feel. There's a positivity as well, and it's a yes of a breakthrough that we saw. Um, yeah, and that was the break free and it came up when I shuffled to you. I'm pretty sure break free and a breakthrough So we're gonna break free of restrictions I think a lot of us more so than by that time and what, what we're you know What we're experiencing in these lockdowns a lot of people are gonna have more freedoms given back at that time And also I feel like you're gonna broke you have it's gonna kind of like go in tandem um that happening is also going to break you free from the past um, pattern or karmic energy from the past life or some past experience in this life that you needed to, to release yourself from to pull in new energies and see yourself differently. So all that is a yes for that time period and it's going to come together all like all at the same time, which I love that. So I hope everyone has enjoyed this reading. It was beautiful as well, kind of continuing on, flowing very nicely from April. Again, I do know that I will be doing these each month, so if you enjoy these, tune back in around the same time in May or in the 26th, hopefully, unless I'm traveling or something, for June's. But again, this is for June 5th and 6th full moon. Yes. So, you, you know, if you're asking yourself a question at that time, it's yes, do it. Remember to kind of like pop back to this reading and see. Maybe you'll get another message or something at that time. Anyway, I'm going to let everyone go. I hope everyone is well. Um... Angel blessings and oceans of love.